What's up, what's up? Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you're new. It's Natty Boss, registered dietitian, fitness trainer, and lifestyle coach of bodybyboss.com. I really appreciate you visiting my channel and wanting to gain some more knowledge on the area of motivation and I hope that I can provide that for you today. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I will give you a glimpse of my lifestyle guide that really essentially is just my top 12 tips that I've been using just to maintain a healthy lifestyle since I started my wellness journey. So you really don't wanna miss out, it's completely free. So you wanna make sure you snag that, it'll be in the description box. Last week I talked about creating a morning routine and I really feel strongly about doing that but something I mentioned in there I wanted to expand on today and that's moving in the morning. So I like to do yoga and some ab work in the morning just to get my blood flow and why I think it's really important to have that morning movement is after being asleep your body hasn't been moving for you know a good amount of hours so the first thing you want to do when you wake up is really get some kind of movement in it really helps to just increase that blood flow and in the blood we have oxygen which is essential for many processes in the body especially the brain function so we want oxygen to not only get to our muscles which can help reduce soreness and stiffness in the morning which a lot of Americans suffer from but also it just helps to get oxygen to your brain and obviously we need our brain to work especially if we're going to work and uh, we have you know jobs to do our best performance at. We wanna make sure that we're working at our best. And the best way to do that is get that movement flowing. It doesn't have to be a 45 minute gym session. Literally, it could be a five minute stretching session, which is something that I like to do. I like to do five to 10 minutes. It really takes nothing. And it just helps to really loosen me up from being stiff in bed, maybe you slept wrong, but just doing a little bit of stretching really just loosens up your muscles, your joints. Again, gets that oxygen flow and it even gets your digestive system flowing. So when your digestive system's flowing, you're more likely to go to the bathroom, which is really healthy to make sure that you have regular bowel movements. People who have bowel movements, you know, every four days, I don't know if that's necessarily the healthiest thing. You wanna make sure you're at least having a bowel movement every day, and of course everybody's different, but a lot of times when we feel bloated and sluggish, it is because it's not really working well. And if you can just start your day off with some movement, it will really help to regulate your digestion, make sure that your brain's working, you clear that brain fog, and you can start fresh with a new perspective, some clarity and focus. And also, it just helps to, again, get that the oxygen to your muscles and your joints so you can just feel less stiff and feel more motivated to go to work. Really, that's all we can ask for. So I hope this gave you a little bit of insight of why I believe it's super important to get some movement in the morning. And again, my favorite things are yoga, some ab work. You can even do some high intensity uh, cardio or you can hit the gym. You can wake up right away, go hit the gym and get your session done in the morning. I do like to do my sessions in the morning at 6 a.m. So a little bit too early to hit heavy weights for me, but whatever floats your boat, just get your body moving in the morning and you will start your day so much better. You will not regret it. I promise. Again, don't forget to snag that guide in the description box below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with a friend so we can get these videos out there and I can help inspire, motivate, and educate more people. Thanks so much for your support and I'll see you next time.